today I am going to show you how we do different sort of form, uh, transformation in uh, Mule. Uh, the specialty here is like we are using data wave and Mule expression language. So what we are using Mule expression language is like we are defining global configuration methods inside that. So that these sort of methods you can define by your own, you can get more expertise in uh, expression language and uh, uh, moving forward you can think of your problem solution in this way where you can define a particular method and use that inside a data brief and you can do your transformation so today's scenario is like we have uh, I can show you I have a CSV file the CSV file is something like which is having data in a format where it's, you can say it's not uh, it's uh, in different format and we want it uh, like achieved in different way so let it open in the meantime uh, yeah it's open now so I can show you suppose here if you see this that's company location name and mobile these are four different headers and suppose you have one company name like CTS and TCS here and then you have locations or you have different mobile number and name and all those things so what my functionality is, I'm just keeping it short to let you guys know about this. The functionality is like this company name is CTS. It is happen it is it is being shown here multiple times. So what it what I want in my output when I do the transformation, what I want <coughs> record by record my mule should read it. And whenever it finds the company name as CTS again, it should not populate it. Okay. So what I am trying to tell you guys, the output would be something like So here, if you see the CTS is there, remove this So only one place you will have CTS okay, And all other places you will not have this repetition, so this value would be blank okay. So this is the overall target, so this is my input and this seems to be this should be my output you can extend this uh, solution in different ways you can put location you can put any other company name if you want you have a company name XYZ and it should be transformed into ABC all these things you can do by this transformation so what we have to do what how we are, we are going to achieve it so, so so I am going to achieve it by putting a file component so this is very similar everybody who is familiar with Mule knows how we use file component here and then the most typical part because I don't want to miss I have shown you this there's a file component I am setting a variable list just ignore this location one uh, I just want to remove this complexity right now and then we have a transform message that is a data with component and again I am saving it in different location okay so I want to give more information on this side so for this time being I would like to remove this one this one's location I was doing some other thing here so this is the main product this is the main flow and uh, this is the, this is this would be really helpful you to understand what is a global function concept here okay so now as I shown you what we have to achieve we have to read this okay this company name and next time if I see the same company name I need to put a blank here okay and that I have to do using data weave that's why we are going to use this uh, MEL concept here so what I have done before I go down I have shown you the flow flow is not very tough it's very easy flow but here the thing you need to understand is the how to define a method here okay the definition this is very important how you do it so I am going to define a method called get company name I'm passing a value like company so if you have a development experience you can easily understand what I'm saying and then what I'm doing I'm checking a company list which I have created here which I will show you when I go to message flow I have created a variable there which is containing a company list okay so what is happening what is happening like when it is reading a uh, CSV file from the file input it's creating a list there in a variable all the companies list so I'm checking it now flow was company list contains company 
so whatever input suppose first record is being read so you will see this this value and this is being used here if you see this data weave component okay so get company name and company so the first record when it is being read the company name is suppose cts okay so company name comes as cts in the method also and else so return if the contains means the list is already having that company name so first time when it is being read cts is not there so it will go to else loop here i will add in this list and i will return company name so first time it will go to the output csv and it will put the value of the company which is being read first time now next time the next record what i have shown you as input if you see that this is also cts okay so what is happening now so in this scenario it's uh, sorry it's uh, going to be here and it sees okay it's already contains cts so we have to return now i think uh, i have explained so what will happen now i will uh, this 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 method would be helpful to you to understand uh, you can you can do uh, these sort of things for any other column also there's nothing like you can do for only one column and you can do for multiple columns if you are doing for multiple columns so instead of giving a particular column name you have to give the input here in the method as a row current row and in that row you have to do the operation on the values okay so let's not get there just understand what the uh, what the basic functionality of this method is and then here i will go to output you are going to produce a csv uh, file so i mentioned like output application public csv then uh, inside that uh, uh, data wave component company name is i'm giving that uh, that value should be coming from this method and you are passing this first uh, value of the list then here you can directly do this i was you should not do this actually i was doing that just for the sake of some experimentation here normally it should be the location this value okay this should be this value okay so uh, uh, you can you can achieve this functionality of transformation a particular column in a different value so this was the overall agenda to give you a brief overview of how to define a method as a global configuration part this can be used anywhere in your flow okay and the one thing i would like to mention here that you cannot debug debug this method so whenever you are writing it just focus here that you will you will see errors here only because once you are uh, running the flow you can your flow will not go here because a global configuration defined okay and here uh, in data wave uh, i think everybody in, uh, is familiar nowadays with database so how you retrieve a value for a particular record so what you see dollar here is just like of a particular records reference and then the column name which the value is so and this is the corresponding output so output csv will have these columns you can change name here also and then these values are coming from input csv okay so i think i have made it clear keep learning keep growing thank you very much